Walking $660,000 can get you in Toronto. The average Toronto condo is costing about $660,000 that the average median. And today we're going to look at what can you get for that kind of price. Okay, Yossi Kaplan here, Toronto Real Estate Agent Mortgage Broker with Search Realty, Search Mortgage. Check it out. Not this one. Here, right here. Uh, so this is the market watch. November 2019 is the most recent I could find in the average condo apartment in the 416-659-855. 660000 dollars Canadian. Okay, so check it out. Yossi Kaplan here, twitter.com slash Yossi Kaplan, youtube.com slash Yossi Kaplan. Thank you everyone very much. It's been a lot of work. I've put about uh, two intense years into this channel and it's showing. Okay, yossikaplan.com, Investor Insider, if you want to get some cool info. Uh, just for my subscribers, I put it in here. Okay, and this is torontocondosforsale.com. I pre-made a search. Uh, I just put in Toronto. I put in six to seven hundred thousand dollars for the price. Property type is a condo, and the listing status is uh, for only for sale, not for rent. And that's what you get. And we can start scrolling here. Okay, um, I'll show you two more ways you can look at this information. The one is through yossi.searchrealty.co, which connects directly to Search Realty. It's basically the same search. The interface is a little different. Different. Okay. You can see what you can get here. There's a 6999 uh, studio condo, second floor, one bed plus bath. Or you can go to condos.ca and run the same search on a price. Oh, let me see. Right away. 600, All right. So there you go. Okay. I'm not sure the sort order here, but you, you get the picture. So when I zoom in, I'm going to start seeing more and more buildings. Obviously, our, our um, interest is downtown, core, King West, Queen West. I'm going to use yossi.searchrealty.co because it's the easiest for me. And if you need any information about any property, just hit the button and you can do it. So check this out. First of all, we're going to zoom out and you can see that the spread of the condos in the average price in Toronto $660,000. Obviously, it's always located in a downtown, but what you'll see is that downtown, especially there's a big hole around here, around Queen, Queen's Park. Well, first of all, there's not a lot of condos in the area, but second, a lot of condos here are much more expensive than $700,000. Therefore, you see less listings, and more listings you'll see is uh, a few around Bay and then more east of Young, which is slightly, slightly cheaper in the Toronto C8 district. C8 east of Young, C1 west of Young. And then, of course, along King and Queen and then King West and down by the water, Entertainment District, by the water, all the way down here. So we'll, t we'll take a bit of a look and see if we can find anything that tells us, any hints that tells us what we can get. Now, this is a live video. I'm not really preparing these listings. I was punching them in and see what I get because that's where the fun is. It's all live. So we talked about this unit here. Uh, so this is the second floor unit at Studio Condos and they're asking $700,000. Here's the floor plan, Suite 206. It's your typical Toronto one bedroom. What I do like about this, that the kitchen is, is in the back. So the entire room is open which is really nice. Uh, nonetheless, second floor, no light. You're looking into another building. It's got a nice balcony and everything, but maybe I would look for something else. But okay, that's a good start. Let me go back, back to search. And we're looking, today we're looking for what you can get for six to $700,000. Uh, here is an assignment at 30 Ordnance, which is the playground condos. And what can you get here for 667? You can get this unit here. It's a wide, kind of a strange layout, but it's actually, it's pretty cool because you come in from here, all your utilities are at the back. Kitchen is L-shaped at the back wall, just like Yossi likes it. And you got a decent living room and a very large bedroom with a balcony on the side and another balcony on the front. So that's pretty cool. These guys are facing west. This guy actually could be a really nice unit. Um, on the floor plan, it could look a little strange, but when you come in, I think once you zig here, I think it's a really nice unit. It's wide. It's got a lot of light. Okay. Uh, how large is this unit? So here they sell you almost 1,100 square feet.
streets or they're probably relating to the outdoor uh, but the actual unit here is less than less than uh, 600 square feet according to the agent that uploaded this so um, you look at the price of about $1,200 a foot on this one very very expensive for playground condos so the question is if you can get uh, the same size condo in various areas where will you buy of course you'd buy where the rent is the highest because that's gonna give you the highest return okay and where's the highest return it's right down here right at the core still is and if you recall I was talking a lot about 488 University um, I have one assignment there for sale it's in the works right now if you're interested give me a shout and I'll tell you what's going on with it um, let me see here Blue Jay way what can we get a university so that's the studio but that was a low floor temperance yeah not much not much really really hard to find some good stuff here uh, 435 Richmond 680 that's okay 75 Portland so 75 Portland uh, right down here in my hood and you can get this beautiful studio and asking 675 that's exactly the average so that's a King West studio these things were sold for two and three hundred thousand dollars back in a day not bad this is, this is actually really nice this is one of these large studios or one bedrooms um, facing Portland and that's facing west so that should have nice nice sunlight in the summer um, it was very very typical at the time when Fried was building King West to leave kind of a lofty uh, industrial look these days I like the ceilings white you know taste changes you can paint it nonetheless it's really nice working you get for 675 you can get one bedroom one bath only so this is 773 uh, square feet condo and remember I only measure the indoor a lot of agents for some reason put the outdoor that's because it gives them a fake uh, lower PSF but assuming that's 773 it does look a little larger in that case and you can you can look at the condo fees of course because the larger more condo fees 456 a month still reasonable for that size and the property tax at 3,000 a month 3,000 a year sorry divided by 12 there's no parking here okay so just the condo 675 and that condo is a typical condo you're gonna get a bit larger but you're not gonna get parking with it okay King West now how much rent would you get for this thing because there's only one bedroom you're not gonna get crazy amount you would get about 2500 give or take right now I think I see more listings of uh, units on the market you know it's it's winter try the same condo in July or August and the rental price will shoot up because everyone's moving in July and August okay in Montreal everyone moves July 1st and in Toronto most people move July August preparation for the new school year once they finish school in same town they still on the same schedule of moving end of the summer beginning of around Labor Day weekend okay let's go back to search so that's a large one bedroom where are those one plus dens or two bedrooms okay so if I go west so I, I just went to the foundry now that that's I'm just jumping here from here all the way down here okay so I'm in St. Clair and uh, Simington there and now you can get you know now you can get a townhouse for that but you're not in the core you're definitely out of the core and this thing is what you can get for the same amount of money if you're willing to move a little bit out of the core okay so that's what you get the second floor here it's a nice little townhouse it's, it's, it's quite reasonable actually okay approximately 1260 square feet as her impact plus terrace so that's proper okay and uh the fees here are 472 about the same as the other one it's actually slightly cheaper than that downtown condo we just looked at okay back to search I want to go back downtown review a few more and I'm going to show you some crazy numbers using the condo calculator okay so I'm going to zoom in back to the downtown west and just play around with it so here is a 90 Niagara suite 203 another second floor very very nice unit super super clean 
and here's what you get for the average it's very very quiet street it's kind of cool nice design too that's proper it's got a little Danish yeah okay so that's what you're getting here for 699 700,000 okay and the condo fees 442 tax year they did not provide the taxes couple more and I'm gonna to move to the condo calculator to show you a few more things okay so what, what, what you can start to see is if we're at this area we are pretty much looking into one bedroom one bath and as for that price 700 660 and then as we move out or as we go to an old building like in this case 263 Wellington it's an older building you gonna a slightly larger unit but with slightly larger unit usually come higher condo fees let's check on this one 921 a month that's crazy and the property tax is 3200 that is why the price is depressed now it may be larger probably a thousand square feet so a larger unit but that those are very very high maintenance fees very very high so 900 buck a month uh you know it's old it needs updating so that's easy 20 30 thousand dollar reno here and I may want to replace the floors. They may nice hardwood floors, but you know, if I want to be modern and keep keep to the keep to the time, I wanna change these floors. So I got extra expenses here. Okay. It definitely needs some updating if you want to bring it to a level that we use now. This is not a good investment in my opinion because the condo fees are way too high, the building is older. So I need more value. Okay, I need more value. Let, let's look at one more. And you can, you, can, you can see how I search, you can see how I think back ordinance. Oh, let's go back here. What else I got? There's Spadina. Some other things I haven't looked at. So Ice Bow, that's City Place. Um, 678. 90 Queens, Wharf, 675. Okay, all about the same. You, you get the picture. Here's 68 Richmond. I like this building very much. Those are really nice. Uh, recently completed, about a year or two ago. Not the best pictures. Lots of concrete here. The building is really nice. Not much amenities, but it's it's a really sweet building, and I love the location. It's right off Queen and Bathurst, so that's very nice here. Okay, let's check the condo fees on that. If I I look at the size. 667 a foot, six asking 695, so just over a thousand a foot. Okay, we'll call it a thousand a foot here. The condo fees are 408, and the tax not provided, but you can assume about 3,000 a year. Okay, last one. So if you, if you click these. You know, if I go all the way up here, way over the 401, I get two bed, two bath for this price. If I go up in east, I get one bath, one that's more like a young and egg area, expensive. Two bed, two bath in this older one. Get closer to DVP, two bed, two bath for 700. But, you know, that's a good hour getting downtown if you need to. Now, not everyone has to get downtown. If you don't, it's a better deal. Okay, Old Mill Road, also expensive. Uh, could be the Tridale building. So you can see there's n <laughs> not a lot of deals here. I'm really stressing here to find a really good building. Got to go to the Queensway now, all the way to Queensway for 700,000, two plus two. Too old. Uh, Long Branch has a lot of opportunities, but that is that is not even Toronto. That's Etobicoke. I've been in these units, they're really good. Uh, lots of room here, they're spacious, you can see. And it's a good for family. But you know, if you're a single person you need to jump in and out of town, that's not the unit for you. But these units are reasonable. The rooms are a little small, but they are reasonable. And for that price of six, seven, eight, nine, it's not bad. Okay, I think they, they, they probably paid for these units around 640, 680. 50 maybe and there's a lot of stuff at Long Branch so you can find larger units at Long Branch slightly more seven and a quarter but some of these units I've been in those they are large like that's a good size living room 
that's a good size living room and this couple types of unit this is the larger type of unit and they're quite spacious okay and that's about seven hundred thousand seven twenty four nine seven twenty five Estimated condo fees, 173, very, very cheap. Uh, we don't know taxes yet, but there will probably be three or four a year. Okay, so that's what I got for you. I'll show you a couple more things, okay? So this is the same search done on condos.ca. You can run it from anywhere you like. The only thing is when you run it from yossi.searchrealty.ca, you can actually get more information. You can just request info down here or request a showing, choose a date, and it gets right to me. Uh, this is not connected to me. Just a different interface. The same information. Here is the same Portland unit. Let's see how it works. Okay. Galleria launched end of last year. They were launching at just under a thousand buck a foot. And now what I see at Galleria is already about eleven hundred a foot. So the cheapest units they have at Galleria now are about six twenty four nine. And that's a one bedroom five hundred and thirty, five fifty square feet ish. And it goes up from there. So at Galleria, for 700, you get about 600 square feet, 650 square feet, give or take. Okay? So it's, it's coming up to the 1,100 a foot, and the 1,100 a foot is really what the downtown is lying now. If you look at condos.ca, okay, I'll show you something. Uh, and you go here, 786 is the, the amount, the total amount the condos.ca calculates. Um, and that's the last 14 days based on 344 sold. And that's 12.68% more than last year. I told you 15% increase this year. We just need more condos. We need more residential properties in order to supply the demand. People are buying because there's nothing else to buy. What are you going to buy? You know, yeah. Condos, it's a home. It's appreciating asset. It's leverage. That's real estate. You can see here. The sales are good, 769, number of sales 310. This thing was up to 807 a couple of days ago. So we're hovering over the 770 here. We're probably going to break out of that 770 and never return. Okay. These are, these are featured. Maybe they're paid for. I'm not sure. But you can see what's going on here. And if you look at the 650, 670, like this one here, 700, Queensway, that's pretty far, but you're going to get a bit more value as you move out, but the maintenance fees are 800 a month, so that unit is going to sit on the market for a bit because you'd rather pay your money into the mortgage into the maintenance fees. Okay, that's the same unit as uh, 75 Portland, or if you go to Fort York Boulevard, by the water, it's windy, you're looking at 600,000, so that's below 1,000 a foot, but the maintenance fees are high. Okay, so you see the relation. The more you're in the core and the lower the condo fees, the higher the price and the less space you'll get. And the more you're out of the core and the, the higher condo fees, the, the worse deal it is, that your ROI is shrinking. So try to avoid that. The only reason you'd buy something out of the core is because you really need to be there. But it's not necessarily a viable investment if your ROI is very, very low compared to something else you can buy. So that's how you got to look at it. Now, a lot of people, I show them assignments downtown, still at really good prices, 1100 a foot, 1200 a foot, and they just can't fathom it, which is totally fine. Someone else does, and they'll buy it. Um, but then, and it takes about three or four tries for each investor or seller to buy or sell the properties, just on average, three or four times. The first couple, you're just getting used to the price, and the next two, you're really trying to get it, and you may miss on one or two, and finally you'll get it. You know, the second or third try, you'll get it once you realize that's the price, that's what you're going to pay, and that's what you're going to do. Now, maybe one day prices will be different, but right now that's what it is, and we just got to look at the reality the way it is. Now, I'm going to use the condo calculator to show you something really cool. Condo calculator, if you're still here with me, name, email, I'm not a robot, and you get a link to this site, to, to this uh, spreadsheet. Now, the spreadsheet here, I'm going to put Toronto downtown. What's in yellow, you put the numbers. What's in green, you're going to get numbers. So let's put Toronto downtown, one bedroom. 500 square feet, 660, that's the average condo, and that's 1320 square feet. Uh, $1,320 per foot, PSF, probably get a bit more. Let's try 600. So now I reduce my price to 1100 a foot, okay? And that means 
that I need a 20% deposit 132 if I were to pay four times 5% each chunk would be 33,000 and the mortgage would be 528 the maintenance fees at 0.65% is about 390 we sell most of them are around around um, 400 400 so here you go it's 0.68 something like that uh, tax is about 275 that's about right a month and the mortgage calculate for you by the formula which is up here okay um, is 2441 and the total monthly cost carrying cost your break even cost is 3124 3124 dollars per month to break even on this imaginary downtown condo one bedroom 600 square feet six hundred sixty thousand dollars okay so you're gonna need the rent of three one two four to break even on this condo if you're getting 2500 you're losing 624 a month so here what comes the tricks where you basically gotta either pay a little bit more every month or you add to your occupancy what happens if i add a bunch of money now i drop my mortgage by quite a bit and now i'm breaking even so the break even on this condo i gotta put a big chunk of money 264 and I borrow 400000 and now I'm starting to break even. Now, that's only the first year. Obviously, every year that passes, more money put towards the, the collateral, more money towards the condo, and the mortgage amount is more towards the capital and less towards the interest, and I start to leverage my investment year after year. And in about five years, I start to see serious change. In about 10 years, about halfway paid, and in... If I accelerate my payments a bit more, 15 years, some tenant can pay for the entire condo for me. And then in 10 years, if that condo is probably worth a million two or three or a million five, and my investment was 264, it doesn't look that bad. And that's how I'm looking at condos these days. Now, if I were in Midtown, now Midtown is about the same price of downtown, but just for sake of argument, let's say I get 700 square feet at Midtown. So now my price drops to 943 a foot, still same price, 660, okay? And just with 20% down, it's still the same price, 660, 132 deposit, 528 for the mortgage. Still came carrying costs slightly higher because I have more square footage, so I'm paying slightly more condo fees. And in this case, I estimate to 476, 68 bucks more a month. Uh, so my costs are slightly up, but can I get that rent downtown? Okay, can I get 2,500 a month downtown for that condo? Now that condo at 700 probably gonna be one plus one. So if that condo is one plus one and that one bedroom or second bedroom can be used as a bed, I can divide it by two roommates. I broke something here. Oh yeah, cause, cause I cannot do one plus one here. I can only do two. Or one, maybe one and a half. Um, and now the cost per room is fifteen ninety six, sixteen hundred. So if you want to live in Yagan you want to rent a 1600 you and your friend, you and a roommate, 1600 each, that's not bad because you cannot find a single uh, unit, like a one bedroom for under 2000 and 2100 So that'll save you four or $500 a month each. That makes a lot of sense. Would you pay 3200 for it? If you did, Adelaide will be very happy. If you pay 3000 so the lender is out about 192 a month, not the end of the world. They can simply add a bit more to the mortgage or pay a little bit more. Let's see what happens if they add 5% more. That's all needed to break even. Okay, so that's, that's very feasible. Now let's look at east or west end. And let's say I get 800 square feet now. Okay, it's only 825 a foot. So I'm, I'm moved out quite a bit, maybe even to uh, Etobicoke. And this is the same situation. Maintenance fees are slightly higher because I have more square footage, but the municipal tax and the mortgage are more or less the same, and my carrying costs are slightly higher. And now I need to get 3100 for this two-bedroom. Now this will be a full two-bedroom, and the cost per bedroom is 1554 You can see it's almost the same as the two-bedroom Midtown. Why? Because Midtown, I get higher rents relatively, and the East End, I get lower rents. So i got to do the calculation. Is the cheaper price that I'm going to get out of the core, out of Young and Eglinton, worth it? Because the rents are going to be a little lower because the location is not as desirable. Does it make any sense? And now you got to play, can you get that $3,000 again? Maybe no, maybe only 2600 because you're out of the desired area. And now you see what's going on. 
I'm, I'm out 500 bucks a month. So it, in, in this example, the Toronto West End, the East End condo is not as desirable. It needs to be a lot cheaper and I'm going to get a lot more for it in order for the carrying cost to justify the rent or the rents justify the purchase of the condo. So that's what you're looking at. I, ho I hope that's clear. Uh, the information, by the way, comes from uh, Treb. I don't make it up. I just look it up here, and they provide you the information. It's free. You can look yourself. Just go to the trebhome.com, go to Market Watch, and that's what you do. All right. This is it, my friends. If you want to buy a condo in Toronto, the average price is 660000 something like this, 700 Those are typical, 629 699 675, 699, 699, 678. Okay, those are your typical prices. The most important thing is to run the numbers. If you need some help, give me a shout and I'll help you. I'll do it for you. Not a problem. It's fun kind of to do it. And if you want to download this spreadsheet, go to condocalculator.ca, put your name, email, not a robot. The system will send you an automatic email with the link to this file. That's it, my friends. Thank you very much for liking, subscribing, commenting. Uh, a note to the commenters, please keep your comments relative to the issue, the discussion of what this video is about. There's a lot of comments that are quite irrelevant. I'd like to keep the channel focused on investing in Toronto real estate. That's what we're here for. All right, my friends. Thank you very much. That's it.